There is chemistry exam. No. What this question is about? I don't understand anything. How can I find number of protons, neutrons, and electrons from this N, A, and 25 and 15? Oh, no. Do you think like that? So, you are here on a good place. So today's our, today our video is going to be about this, about finding the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Yay! So you are on the right place and we can find how to do this question in chemistry exam. Yay! So, I have displayed a tip over here. Look at this tip. This is the main thing for this question. Number of electrons is always, always, always equal to number of protons. So, let's do this. So this 25 is actually the mass number or nucleon number of this element. And this 15 is actually the atomic number of this element. So I have displayed it over here that this is the mass or number and this is the atomic number. Atomic number consists of number of electrons. Atomic number consists of number of electrons and mass number consists of number of protons plus neutrons. As we already know that number of electrons is always equal to number of protons. So this is the number of neutrons and protons summed up. So as we know that electrons are 15, so it means that protons are also 15. So 25 is the mixture of neutrons and protons. So we know how much the protons are in number and then we have to minus 5 minus 5 is 0 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so the answer comes 10 so it means the number of neutrons is 10 number of neutrons so this is how you do uh, you find electrons, protons, and neutrons. Oh, what is this? The examiner has also given a table to fill after finding all the electrons and protons and neutrons. So, keep your calculations safe. So, I have made them safe. And now, we can just put the data over here. So, the data is... The number of electrons are 15. So the number of protons will also be 15. And then the number of neutrons will be 10. Yay! Now the examiner will mark us 10 out of 10. <laughs> 